Yeah, yeah. Woo! We went to the studio with all them people. I didn't. I didn't go to New York. No, I did you go to New York. To New York I went. To, I went. I definitely went to New York. D'Angelo. I was there. Him and Questlove. Uh, when we did that, uh, and we also was in New York when we did the Q-Tip record. Mm -hmm. And uh, Corrupt came to Detroit. Corrupt came to Detroit. Uh, P Rock came to Detroit. Came to the basement where we recorded all our records. Yeah, man, we did it all together. We didn't. We didn't do that. Sending up. It took too long, man. First of all, you had to send a CD. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When nobody sending no emails like that, cassette. or cassette, a cassette yeah. CD, and you had to wait next day for them. Yeah. They got to listen to it over the phone. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nah, man, you you better off just going in and flying over there and doing the record and coming on coming back home. You know what I'm saying? What was it like in the studio with Q-Tip, man? Oh man, I, that time was funny. It was kind of funny. It's funny and sad at the same time. So it, we go to New York. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I guess we about to do the session or whatever. And me and Q-Tip walked to the, to the pizza shop, to Sabero's, you know, downtown New York, Manhattan. He was like, man, I think about quitting, man. I'm out of this, man. I don't want to do the music stuff no more. I was like, what? I'm like, why is he telling me this? And we about to record a record together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then he do his verse, wait, and then you hear his verse on there. He talk about quitting. I'm like, man, why would he do that on our record? I just wanted to, some funky shit and uh, be out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So that kind of that kind of hurt us in a sense because people thought that that we they didn't want us to be no new tribe or nothing like that. So we got a lot of haters from New York. And it took a long time to get that hate off of it, even though it, we had nothing to do with him wanting to retire at that particular time. So that was tough. What was going through your mind when they was trying to dump that on you, though, man? That's a BS. I know. Yeah, it was a BS. For <laughs> 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 our first release to be that, yeah, it was, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was what it was, man. I guess it made us stronger. We still here today. So, <laughs> Q-Tip. If it weren't for Q-Tip, I wouldn't. Slum Village wouldn't even be here. So yeah. he definitely let us go on tour with him with with Tribe. We did a college tour with him, and uh, he definitely is the person single-handedly who shopped, who who played our music for all these celebrities. You know what I'm saying? Weighed in. You know what I'm saying? He played yeah. it for Quest Love, who played it for D'Angelo. He was the guy that was just playing our stuff for everybody. So shout out to him, and shout out to App Fiddler who introduced me to him. Yeah. Now what about getting in there with Buster, man? Buster, uh, what well, uh, Dylan and Buster was already working together on albums. Okay, so they Buster came to the D so many times. He was always in the D, recording on a lot of his records. So when it came to do our record, that was just you know that was like family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was that was easy breezy. 